Oh, lovely. Hey, yep. Anyways, um, we're down to the final five, and um, for my pick, pick, you just saw, shockingly, it's going to be Footloose. Cut Footloose. Ah, cut Footloose. Anyway, um, I decided to put Footloose as my number five favorite soundtrack after listening to the whole album. I absolutely freaking love it. I'm gonna, I got the disc out itself so I can look at the songs. Um, obviously, Footloose, the, the name of the movie by Kenny Loggins, Footloose, which was a smash hit for him. Um, Holding Out for a Hero by Bonnie Tyler. Phenomenal song. One of the best uh, Bonnie Tyler songs besides, uh, what was it called? Um, Total Eclipse of the Heart besides that one. Turn uh, around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, every now and then I get them. Yeah. Anyways, um, I also like the song The Girl Gets Around by Sammy Hager. Mm. Also, I want to feature that Snow, Somebody's Eye. I believe that's a. I got to listen to that one again. But, anyways, that song, it's okay. I got to re listen to that one. I don't really remember that one as much as the first few that I've already mentioned. But um, Almost Paradise, Love Theme from Footloose by Ann Wilson and Mike Reno. Pretty much the theme itself is just phenomenal. I mean, the movie, got to rewatch that. The movie was was good, according to what I remember seeing it from a long time ago. Got to rewatch it, see what it was about. But the soundtrack itself is phenomenal. Some good stuff. Um, some songs in here are, some few songs in here are decent. But uh, the ones I mentioned, the mentioned mentioned are the ones that I really, really, really enjoy in this LP. Okay, but let's see what your number five is. Well, um, I'm probably going to shock a lot of people when I say um, this is my number five, because if you know me, you know that I absolutely love this band. This is the best band of all time, of all time. And, there's, and this soundtrack to the movie, A Hard Day's Night, is by far their best movie. I think it's their best movie. Well, it helps my favorite. Well, it's it's the Beatles, ladies and gentlemen, either it's way. the Beatles. I mean, you can't go wrong choosing a favorite because it's the freaking Beatles. It's the freaking Beatles. All the songs that were um, written on the album were um, uh, written by John Lennon and Paul McCartney, obviously, and one by George Harrison. Um... But yeah, awesome songs that were some of them were in the movie, some of them weren't in the movie, which is kind of strange. Um, like the song You Can't Do That was like a deleted scene in there. I don't know why they deleted that scene from the movie. I mean, they have it up on YouTube about the scene showing them you can't do that. Um, they should have at least put it in the movie. It's a great song. It is. I mean, that was stupid of them getting rid of the scene in the movie. Yeah, um... Can't Buy Me Love, it's got great songs. Can't Buy Me Love, If I Fell, I Should Have Known Better, and I Love Her. And, of course, the title song, A Hard Day's Night. Uh-huh. I, I'm going to be honest with you, the best instrumental piece in there is uh, the instrumental, This Boy. Oh, Ringo's song. Oh, Ringo's song. Yeah. I love it. I absolutely love it. But, yeah, I, every song on this album is awesome all the way throughout. Um... If you haven't listened to it yet, what what are you waiting for? Mm-hmm. But, I mean, come on. Honestly, what are you waiting for? Oh, it's the Beatles. It's the freaking Beatles. I mean, the I will say side one is probably my favorite of the two, but side two had only a couple of songs that I liked, like Things We Said Today and You Can't Do That. But side side A is probably my favorite side of the of the no. two. Not to change the topic, but didn't they have I'll Be Back on that one? No, that was Yeah, that, yeah that was on there. Um, alright, is the... Yeah, it was on there, but I'm talking about, like, the American... American or the, uh... Um, the American or the England version. Because on the England version, it was on there, but... The I, I got the England version, so... Oh, so I'll Be Back was on the England. Yeah. The, uh, um, it wasn't on the American. It was on Beatles 65, I believe it was, to find I'll Be Back. Yeah. Thank you, WABC Radio 77. Shout out to you for that, for the uh, little lesson about that song that I want to bring up. So, yeah. Um, if you want to get one of the two, I'd suggest you get the England version, if you can find it. And that's yeah. the one with, like, they're all, like, they got to pick the five 
It's like the the twenty pictures, right? I think people understand what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, the twenty pictures, not the four, not the four one. You got to get yeah. the twenty one. So yeah, that's my number five. The England version, you can either get that on CD, or if you want vinyl, uh, you can just do whatever the hell it is to get it on vinyl, or you can just get the Beatles box set that has been re-released. Yeah. I'm not talk about because I'll go all night about that. But anyways, we're almost there with the end of this list, and we're going to go down to number four. Coming up next. Okay, everyone. No, wait, no, wait. i got to start this off. It's my turn. <laughs> uh, let me uh, read. Let me my read. bad. <laughs> Um, redo. Okay. All right. Now I'm starting out with this one because we're doing the flippity flop and back and forth and all that other stuff. Um, my number four is quite possibly, no, it's my favorite musical of all time. And I, of course, am talking about Grease. Yes, good, good, good choice. I'm, of course, talking about Grease. I mean, you got Frankie Valli in the Four Season. You know, that song, Grease is the Word, is the word that you heard. It's that groove it got me and you know, the old kitten caboodle. Oh. And, of course, you got um, the great the great vocals from Olivia Newton-John and Su John Travolta, who, surprisingly, I had no idea he could sing that good. I didn't either. I had no idea he could sing that good. So, yeah. Um... Awesome songs like Summer Nights, um, Hopelessly Devoted to You, um, <laughs> You're the One in the Wong, <laughs> um, <laughs> and of course, one of my favorites, Beauty School Dropout, Go Back to High School. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget about the Grease Lightning, man. No, it was Grease Lightning. Go, 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 Grease Lightning. Go. Oh, yeah. Grease Lightning, go, Grease Lightning. And, of course, um, the last song, um, We Go Together, like... Yeah. Um, so, you guys can pretty much get that this is my number four. So, it is pretty much my number four. So, there you go. There you go. Right. Moving on! Moving on! Um, since you mentioned a great movie, his was a musical, mine was actually a regular movie. Um, one of the best movies of all time, I'm going to mention, this should sound familiar when I mention the actor and actress of Jennifer Grey and Patrick Swayze. Oh, yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? Uh, that's right. Boom, boom, bada bing, dirty dancing. Got that song. I, I just got that one, actually. Great soundtrack. I mean, I got the 45 of I've Had the Time of My Life by Miff by, blah, blah, by Bill Melody and Jennifer Warren. Warren E's, I believe it is, Warren's. Um, got the single, uh, first track on the whole album with that magical scene where they were just doing that big dance routine up to that song. It was just <sighs> mad, one of the best movie scenes of all time. It was magical. It was magical, indeed. Um, that says Be My Faith by The Rumettes. Um, I'm surprised that, um, just like with Josh Volta, I'm surprised Patrick Swayze can sing. Yeah. When he sung the song, She's Like the Wind. I'm surprised he can actually sing. But that's an amazing song. Also with the song Hungry Eyes by Eric Carmen. Um, there was another song, not on this album, but not to change my, not to change the subject, but uh, another song I recently discovered on Made Me Lose, Made Me, Made Me Lose Control. Um, the only song I knew by him was uh, Hungry Eyes. So anyway, back to the topic. Uh... Some other good stuff oh, like uh, Where Are You Tonight by Tom Johnson and in the Still of the Night by the Five Satans. Um, Satan, Satans, whatever. But um, some great stuff. Uh, song number one is my favorite out of the whole record. I mean, the movie itself is just phenomenal. Perfect 10 out of 10, 10, out of 10 stars for me. The soundtrack, I give it a, an 8 out of 10. That's a great record. I enjoy it. But anyways, um, yeah. close. Guy, talk about the top three. Just a minute.